Hey there, this is Adrian Brown, the homeschool mom of eight, and I see you have joined me on my YouTube channel. Hi, I am going to be talking about how I plan to homeschool this year and the things that I plan to do and the things I am not going to do. Once again, hi, once again, I'm Adrienne Brown, and I just wanted to share with you the things that I will be doing this year for homeschooling. You know, last year we had a good year, but it was still sort of, um, I don't know, it just was still kind of off, even from COVID, you know. Ever since, ever since COVID, we, my homeschooling have been sort of off. And what I mean by that, I was so... Prior to what, 2020, to, yeah, 2020, I was so used to getting in my car, traveling here, going there, doing this team, doing that class, that, and I love that. That was a, that was our routine, something that I just grasped and accepted as that was my mission. My kids had to go to a class. I know I had to drive them there. If they had sports, I knew that I had to drive them there. But the la after COVID, the years, you know, you didn't where we didn't have to go anywhere. That all kind of got kind of jumbled up and crazy. And then last, the last, um, so that that meant that the last school year, I still was not doing everything. It was kind of weird. But this year. 2022, I do plan to start doing outside classes again. I mean, we did a few in 21, but not as many as I was used to. But this year, I will um, reschedule our days and we will have at least one week out to where we will go and do classes. Now, I'm not for, I'm not, I'm not saying go out and try to do everything under the sun. No, I'm not for that. When I say I'm doing outside stuff in classes, I always try to look for things that will benefit everybody in the family. What I mean by that is, if I have a, if I said we do a co-op, everyone is gonna take a class or they just won't take a class, but I'm not ru running all over town trying to get this person here at one o'clock, get that person there at two o'clock and get that person there at three. That's not happening. I'm gonna find an activity, a co-op, a sport, something that all of my children can enjoy while we're there. And if that is not the case, and only it's only like my, my oldest daughter is college, she's taking some college courses, so my younger kids can't really participate. So what I plan to do is when she's doing her course, they will go with me and that will be the time that I will work on my physical education, <laughs> on my self-care. We will walk or do something. Or if they're not with me, I'll take my work and I'll work while I'm waiting for her. So it has to be beneficial to just more than one person, any activity that we do. If we serve in our church, it has to be something that all of us can help with. I'm not running all over the place. That's, that's just the recipe for... Um, um, losing, being stressed and going out of your mind when you try to do everything for everybody. You just can't do it. And I tell you one thing, I've always lived by this. Have the ability and the courage to say no to certain things. That is one thing I learned early on. A lot of people believe that just because you're home and you're homeschooled that you're free to do everything or anything. I'm talking about uh, people from church, your family members, anyway, they feel, like, they feel like you can just be on the phone talking all day, or you can just run here when they're calling you to ask to join the help with that, but you can't because your obligation is to your homeschool and to your children. So grasp onto the courage and the ability and the power to say no. Don't forget that. And the next thing I learned I am going to, going to do for the coming up school year is I'm going to focus more on me. Now, I have been homeschooling for 26 years. I have eight children. Four of them are college um, 
have, have gone on, they graduate, waited from my homeschool, and have gone on off to college. Three are finished with college, and um, I am, I have, what, three more here that I am still presently homeschooled. But when I was homeschooling the older ones, I didn't really do too much to work on my goals and my aspirations. But this time around, I am going to do that because I feel like, I feel, um, because I have made that choice, I feel I am more fulfilled. I am less stressed. I feel like I'm doing something for me. <laughs> it's very important to not forget about yourself. Make sure that you exercise that self-care. And I mean, if it's just learning something new, learning, I love it. I get so excited when I learn a new program on the computer. When I, for instance, I learn how to use Canva. <laughs> I don't know if you know what Canva is, but Canva is a little, a free program online that you can use to create um, documents, worksheets, eBooks, anything. I love using that. And um, another thing I'm learning is how to use um, Adobe's Premiere Pro. I'm so, I am excited when I'm able to create something. So it answers, because I'm a creative person, I love creating things and making things. So I, I cannot let that die. And the other part that I will make sure, and actually, I actually already started this in 2021, is to ask my husband to help a little bit more. But see, it's easier for me because my husband is retired. <laughs> so I know it's kind of hard for um, you younger women who your husband has not retired yet, but you still can ask him to help a little more with something. If it's just teaching the kids how to do something um, outside or just teach them how to do, you know, take over reading their spelling words to them or helping them with a math problem or whatever it is. Yeah, I mean, I'm talking to the female just in case you are the main um, educator in your home. But if you, dad, if you're the main ed educator, when your, your wife come home, ask her to help too. <laughs> I know if she's the one working and she's tired, save it for the weekend. And I, another, one more thing I plan to take into 2022 school year is I am going to stay persistent, consistent, and on it when it comes to making sure my children stay on task. What I, why I say that is because I don't want them to, I don't want to go through the school year get halfway through and realize that they really have not done anything. I am going to make sure that I keep them accountable and they keep me accountable to make sure they get their schoolwork done. Ladies, I don't know if you know people like this, but I have met people who just allow their kids to just sort of govern themselves and they're not really even doing their schoolwork. Homeschooling is not about that. It's about... It's a homeschooling is all about your child learning to self-govern himself and to learn to to understand and learn what it is they're supposed to be learning through their books. But they have to have they're still young and they require they require some supervision when it comes to um, learning how to self-regulate and to stay accountable. So that is those are the things that I want to bring into the new year for my homeschooling year. You know, it's I'm almost at the end. Like I said, I've been doing this for 26 years. I'm working with my second group of kids. The other four are gone. But it is it has been a journey that I've enjoyed. I love seeing other people learn. I mean, I just love to teach them. I want to see their eyes open and their eyes sparkle when they learn something new. And I guess that you could say that that's all because what I did not get as a child has, I didn't get that type of um, attention. And so I didn't want to do that to my children. I want them to have these things. And I think it's, it's I don't know, I may be considered a helicopter mother or whatever people want to call it, but it doesn't matter to me. My goal is to make sure my children prosper. I want them to know God, and I want them to do well. I want them to, to be well-rounded citizens, and I want them to be happy. 
in their lives and to feel good about who they are. I want them to love the skin that they're in. So those are my new goals for the 2022 school year. <laughs> my name is Adrian Brown. I'm the homeschool mom of eight. And if I can help you in any way, contact me. Click the link down below and send me an email um, or just get in, um, go to my Instagram. I have so many ways that you can talk, contact me through Facebook, through Instagram and um, my website. <laughs> and I have a course that is that I have created for the new homeschooler. If you need help with the little ones, if you're just starting off, I have a course. Click the link in my bio or down below. Not <laughs> click the link down below. I keep saying bio because I'm thinking Instagram. Anyway, 